Hello everybody, it's Jules again, and this is part two of Needle Felting the Yorkie. Okay, so this video is part two of how to needle felt a Yorkie. We'll do the ears and plant the fur, and then because it got so long, we'll do part three, we'll put the tail on and figure out how to make him into an ornament. So thanks for being here. Okay, so I put the back legs on, added a bunch of black, and now I wanna make the ears, which I'm gonna try and make with this same carded tan wool. I think that would just be the easiest. I always make the ears too big, always. So I'm gonna try and make them small. See if I can do a good job here. So the way I do my ears, make little triangles like this. And I'm gonna try to match these so that the ears are the same, you know, relatively the same size. I find ears to be very difficult. So I'm gonna do my best here and make little triangles. Try and have them be about the same size. These don't look like the same size at all. Okay, here. This is why I like having this sheet on my wool pad. It makes things real easy to get up like this. See? Match these. Hmm. Well, now they kind of do seem like the same size, right? Both too big. Push them in very slightly like this. Yeah, they're getting good. I need to add a little bit because they're very thin. So I'm just going to add a little fluff to each of them and then keep going. So I'm going to keep doing this, basically flipping them over and adding fluff until they're a little thicker, but the same size. So I'll show you how they turn out when I'm done. I've decided to pull out the felting machine and have it help me a little bit since it's a lot of repetitive felting. So it's pretty good. They're still kind of see-through, but are they about the same size? So now let's check what they look like on Using the felting machine doesn't actually work very well. It's not just not as good as reg regular felting. I think it's gonna be faster. Then it doesn't really seem faster. This seems to I don't know, maybe I have an old needle in there. Hmm. That seems likely. That seems like something I would do. I really changed up that needle.
So let's see. They're still about the same size. I'm gonna need to just flatten them a little bit. Okay, something I got for Christmas is this iron. So I'm excited to try it for the ears. Um, I used to use a flat iron, but I'm gonna try this just to flatten them out. Hmm. It's funny, this piece is really, really hot. I guess it just transfers the heat. I don't know how it works exactly. Yeah, it's working. It's working pretty good. I'm gonna put it on my dog. So it has to go like this. I'm gonna tack it on here first. And I like to have them kind of thin so I could curve them around like this. See how you do like a little bit of a, of a curve. Like a real ear. And then I'll do the same to this ear. this multicolored fur that I found. I thought it's pretty cool. And it really does kind of look like the fur on his face. So I'm going to try this. So what I'm going to do is pull off like maybe a little bit like that much. I just start poking it in. See already it looks cute. a little bit long but look how cute that is and then we can just cut it scissors so now I think that the hair around his eyes is similar I want to do this trick again where I make the eyelids this way right over his eyes and then you can just go like this or even cut it connect the eyes and make these cute little eyelids oh i bent my needle Shoot, that needle's not gonna last much longer all right I'm going to do that to the other eye as well. So I added more. Now he has two little eyelids. But I see that the the fluff goes out on either side of his face. And it's black with some gray in it. So I think I'm going to take the smoother black wool. Get a little of that. And then some of this gray combo stuff. And kind of put it together to make it much more black but still gray so see how we can blend these together and I just do it by hand so that's pretty good this is a gray black Go ahead. and what I want to do is really similar to what I was doing which is just take this put it over his eyes again because I want it to fluff out to the sides So there's a tiny bit here in the center, like this, coming up off the top, too, like this. So it's adding the black gray fluff. And continue here around the side just planting some fur like this and then we can trim it all later see that little fluff on 
the side if we plant it. Okay, and then we can kind of trim it. Um, all of this is real fluffy, dark, and then it gets lighter again. So I'm going to do more there till it looks like, you know, a more senior dog. I'm guessing when this dog was younger, he had more black. But right now he's a little older, so he has more gray in his fur. take some of this blended and start to put it here as well. In this little body. Just planting it in. All right, it's getting a little crazy, so I'm going to do it. A little bit of a trim, see where we're at here. That's probably too much gray right there anyway. So, let's do a little impromptu haircut here. I like to do this, like kind of trim like this at first. So it feels more like a real haircut, not, not straight like that. Maybe this is going to take too long. <laughs> there we go. It's getting there. I'm going to take some of this, which is a little bit of the brown, and maybe add a little of this lighter tan color. little tan part on his face. little chin also has this tan color this way and then this one will fold down see how cute it looks like a little cute little chin actually have that light color if you remember
here's his little eyeballs. And I have this nose that I made out of clay. That's a whole other video you can watch. I'm gonna place it there. See, I'm starting to look more like a dog. So for this, I'm gonna need to glue it in. So I'm gonna take our glue. Carefully glue it into place. <laughs> Starting to look like a dog now. How cute. Okay, so I'm adding black and gray fur all through here and on the back. And here I'll put more tan fur. So I've just been planting fur. And I realize as I'm getting the bits of fur I need not very long pieces because I'm going to cut it so I was doing like this long but I think I even want to go shorter than this see like little short pieces and then stick them in here plant it and I don't want to plant it really close together see that distance because then it gets really, really thick. So I'm going to try doing it a little bit apart. See, so you can see here. See, yeah, there's some distance, but I'm probably going to leave it fluffy like that. Because see, it still looks fluffy. And then under his chin is this sort of tan color. So I'll probably do like a little bit there. So see how you can see the core wool real easily there. We don't want that. I want to do this mix of tan that I did earlier. And I want to make this also a little short pieces. Do a little bit of trim. I can always add more. I get nervous trimming because I always feel like if I go too short, it's gonna look weird. But I'm gonna be brave. I'll trim long and then I can always go shorter later. I know I said before I was going to do like this, but I didn't think that worked. Now I'm just doing it like this, like a regular haircut. It's kind of cute, huh? Still too long. Still a lot long, too long. Okay, now looking at the dog, I realize we need to be able to see her, his ears and stuff. So this has to be like much, much shorter. This looks crazy. It's more like this, like really short. I kind of want to just get an idea of where his face should be in there. And then keep going with that. See, I think, I think I put, it's way too long of fur in here. Ugh, I'm so bad at cutting. 
and what do we think? We need to get this little eyelid working. Okay, you guys can start doing this. Look how cute you are. You're emerging. And then I think we need a little bit more black on his nose because I wonder if I could just do this, plant some of the fur that I just cut off just to kind of make the nose blacker. Oh, that is working. Look at that. Oh, so cute. Hmm. Hmm. All right. I think we need to tack a little bit down because he looks like he doesn't have enough of a face. We need just a little fur. There we go. Then we're gonna make a mouth. We could take some of this black and make his cute little mouth. You know what? That's not going to work. I'm going to take this black and twist it. This dog looks like he actually does have a smile, but I kind of like to shove that in there like that. Looks like there's like a little smile going on. And then what we'll need to do is just kind of tuck this like this, make a chin. I'm gonna keep working on planting more fur around here and more of this tan colored fur here on his back because his back is all tan. Plant a little bit of a 
that. Like that. Paint a little bit more in here. Ow. Put a little bit more black. like I cut it a little bit too short. Exactly what I was afraid of. Exactly. So it's okay. It's okay. We'll just add a little bit in here. here on this side. It's a fine line between being a fluffy dog and a hot mess. <laughs> that crazy girl. Oh boy, okay. Uh, I feel like it's getting there just so slowly. So I'm going to do the same with the back here. Put a bunch of blonde tan color for the back of the head, which I'll definitely have to trim down. But then underneath, I'll do the black again. And then keep planting it all along here. Until we have a fluffy dog. Maybe I won't trim it again until I'm done planting. Oh, trimming is the worst. Some people trim just so deftly. I get so nervous. Anyone else get nervous trimming? see what is going to happen. <laughs> well, it's really long. Maybe I do need to trim it as I go so I can see what sort of needs to be done still. But just a little bit. Just a little bit. It's awfully cute, isn't it? Oh, he's getting there. He's getting there. This video has gotten to be 30 minutes long again. So I think we're going to stop here and do a part three. So in part three, we're going to put fur on the legs, finish the fur on the body, add the tail, and then string him up to be an ornament. So please come back for that. And thanks for being here.